Hey, everyone. It's Nicholas, P-O-G-M. Uh, the website is, of course, remedygod.org. Um, I made a video last week, and I posted it on YouTube, which I haven't done in many months because YouTube has been uh, deleting my videos because of the Catholic Church has been complaining. And, uh, and so they now make it to where I can only make videos that are 15 minutes long or shorter. And so I stopped putting all the big videos on YouTube. They're on John 14.29. If you want to get to John 14.29, just go to remedygod.org. And when you get there, just you know, click the blue button there, and it'll bring you right to uh, John fourteen twenty nine. Let me uh, make the screen a little normal here. Uh, for some reason, it's not coming up normal, but that's that's it. And it's uh, you know, all the videos are in here, all all of them are in there. And so you know, you could just go there if you like. Uh, but anyway, um, I put a uh, video on uh, YouTube a few days ago, actually Wednesday of last week. And I just and I pulled it because it was campy looking because the software I was using wasn't up to par, and so uh, I got a bunch of emails asking me to please put it back up, and so I'm gonna. And it was about this article right here that I posted on uh, November 27th, like I said. And so let's go to the article. And if we uh, scroll down a little bit, I'm gonna get to the part in the article that. Uh, well, here the headline reads: Obamacare codes confirm execution by beheading coming to USA. So if you scroll down a little bit, and let's zoom in uh, just a tad here. It says, these codes were not created by Obamacare. However, Obamacare is trying to implement every American citizen under international codes to link us to the international system. And this is, of course, throwing up a bunch of red flags, and mainly because why is Obamacare, which is supposed to be only United States of America health care, why is it being involved with uh, international medical codes and why is the World Health Organization involved, uh, which is an agency of the United Nations? It's supposed to be our health care, and that's it, right? Well, it has to do with these 68,105 new medical codes that are being put or implemented in here. And one of them is throwing up the major red flag, which is ICD-9E-978, which is about legal execution. Now, you think, why would they have anything in here about legal execution when it's about health care? Well, we all know about the death panels and stuff like that that are definitely written in the law. We've got videos on the site about that. But um, why this? Well, let's go there. Let's click it. Let's click that link. And uh, this is where it's listed. And uh, look at reason number two or method number two to kill people. Beheading decapitation by guillotine. Now, for those of us that understand prophecy and study it, and uh, we know what this is all about, but for those of you that don't, go to the warning section of remedygod.org. Scroll down to the Mark of the Beast, and you get all the videos, the studies, everything that you're going to need, all about the Mark of the Beast is here. But here's the clincher. Get back up to the menu, go to Warning again, scroll down to Government Gone Bad, and then go to Guillotines in America. On this page, you're going to find out only the prophecies and the scriptures and stuff like that that do confirm what's happening is happening now. Uh, you're also going to find that there are 30,000 guillotines on U.S. soil right now. In fact, when I put this page up 10 years ago, there was 30,000. I don't know how many are out there now, but there are 30,000 guillotines in U.S. soil right now. It has to do with Revelation 20, verse 4, by the way, where people will be beheaded if they refuse the mark of the beast. But people say, oh, that's just too far-fetched. They would never, ever, ever do that in the United States of America. Well, they probably said the same thing 40 years ago when people said that girls are going to be killing their babies because they're worried about getting stretch marks or losing their boyfriends. No one would think it would be possible for abortion to even get legalized, and yet, look at, it, look at it now. They are indeed killing babies on a regular basis, but that's still not the icing on the cake. Scroll down a little bit on the guillotine page. Check this out. Georgia House Representatives, back in 1995-96 session, passed the House Bill of 1274, which allows for death by guillotine. Now, this was, of course, first set in, in place for the prisoners, the prisoners in the, in the jails, okay? Those are, they're condemned to death. Well, some of them want to be able to donate their organs, and whether they're going to get financial benefits for doing that, which I doubt because they're going to be killed, or their family's going to get financial benefits, it really doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is they were able to sneak it in by dangling carrots in front of the people saying, you know, you can't, you know, you, you can't use organs that have been electrocuted or lethally injected or gassed or whatever, but you can if they've been, uh, you know, killed by guillotine because they can keep you alive indefinitely without a head. Go into any coma uh, ward in a hospital and you'll know what I'm talking about. So, now, why guillotines? Why are they going to be cutting off heads? Let me ask you this. 
we know that China kills Christians. We know India kills Christians. We know North Korea cr- kills Christians. And every nation on earth has laws that persecute Christians, especially the United States, America, and Canada. Now, who is it, though, on planet Earth right now that is very graphically killing Christians to the tune of two Christians? Or, or, I'm sorry, one Christian every two minutes. That has to do with Islam. And we have evidence now that the Pope and Islam have been planning this for quite a while. In fact, we also have evidence, if you scroll down to the, um, go down for article updates and get you can go a little bit past that and you'll see links on topic, go to this link. The Roman Catholic Vatican created the religion of Islam. We have proof now. I'm not going to click it because it's a PDF. I do have it already clicked, and so I'll just go to it. Uh, so how the Vatican created Islam. we got all the information here that you're going to need to document and figure out what's going on here. It was put together by an ex-Jesuit priest by the name of Alberto Rivera, and they, in fact, killed him for his testimony. Why do this? Well, it's, you can ask the same question as to why the Vatican set up Hitler and um, had him brought to power. And people say, oh, no, they didn't do that. Well, Hitler was Roman Catholic, okay? And he was very much involved with the church, okay? And when he got unpopular they of course backed off considerably and then started pointing fingers and like they always do and what they do is they'll they'll stand out in the front claiming to be the moral authority while in the background doing what they do normally prophecy says they're going to kill the christians they've already started but like they did back in hitler's day they you know to use hitler to kill the christians and the jews now they're using islam to do it so the fact remains you've got the information that you need if you uh want any additional information just contact me from uh from the website, uh, you go to remedygod.org, and right here there's a contact us page that you, you can get a hold of me through there, you know, through the phone or whatever. And um, hopefully that uh, you can share this video with as many of your loved ones and friends that you can. If you got any questions, again, send me an email and please subscribe. And thank you for watching. God bless.